fancy meeting you here. It's been a while, that's for sure. Such are the complexities of life that sometimes get in the way of bringing these uh, beautiful mountains to life. I hope you've had your fair share of them while I've been away, and I hope you're gonna join me for a few more. Must be about 10 years ago when we started this journey together, back on the Obisque, one of my favorite climbs, very close to my heart. But today, I wanted to do something a little bit different and tame a climb that's been in this little noggin of mine for quite some time, albeit in a slightly different format, going a bit more behind the scenes to make it more up close and personal. So with that said, let's get ready to go have some fun on arguably one of Spain's toughest climbs, the one and only Anglerou. Let's get after it. Okay, people, we're back on the Anglerou. We're about four k's up. Decided to start from here. I've done the first four. It's nothing special, to be honest. Six and seven percent. A really good uh, spot down there. Over my shoulder is the Mirador de Anglerou. You can stay there the night. In fact, I was going to stay there, camp out the night there yesterday, but uh, found a better spot just up here which we're going to pass in a minute and this is where the fun really starts we've got about eight and a half k's to the top so this is uh after that warming up 4k in the tree line good shelter and then opens out this absolutely glorious The Angleroo is fearsome and it hasn't got that reputation for having a nice easy section like this in it. And if it's got that easy section, you know what's coming, don't you? It's exactly right. So I'm gonna take a bit of a moment just to enjoy, get some deep breaths in and prepare for what's to come. Now that's the spot for camping, eh? Had a great night last night. All right, all eyes on the road. Funny. Although the true start of the climb is down in La Vega, the signs actually count down from the mirror door there. Or should I say count up? Just gone past sign number two, two kilometers in. So yeah, maybe I did start in the right point today. Oh well, I'm not gonna uh, dwell on it. Gradient started to kick up now. We're at uh, 13% and I know it's gonna ramp up to 23%. I'm gonna be climbing up to just shy of 1600 meters today. Get some big panos up there, I think. Let's get after it. Only a couple of kilometers in, we've hit one of the first really steep sections. 800 meters elevation, we're up to 18% round a left hander there. Views are good, legs not quite so. Past 
another sign telling me it's going to ramp up to over 21%. Yeah, like I can't really feel that. Glasses are off, sweating bullets, so can't see much. It's a good feeling though. We're conquering it. Right out in the open, we're at uh, 10%, so it feels uh, positively flat. But the views, you can see the road off to our right, just snaking away down into the valley, trying to prepare myself. Going up to a 5k sign, which means we've got a couple and a half k's to go. And I've done my research on this one, I know what that means means we're about to hit the hardest section. Just approaching the steepest section, about two k's to go. The road pitching up in front of us. It's cruel. It's a cruel run into it as well. About 12, 13, 14 percent. Take that left hander down there, so it ramps up. We're at 18. I got a funny feeling it's going to pitch again by the looks of it. But man, it is stunning up here. They're well worth the effort. Come on, keep it together. Perseverance, that's what it takes. All the way. It's the toughest section done. Thought we'd just take a moment. We've got about a K to go and just appreciate what we've done. You see the switchbacks below us. Whew. One after the other, just going off into the distance. What a climb. Whew. Feel the calm. Barely a breath of fresh air, apart from our heavy breathing today. Wow, that is quite something. When I saw my lover, saw him for the first time, I was afraid, and oh how he was shy. When I saw my lover, taught him how to love. Tears were running down our cheeks. 
approaching the summit on this flat plateau. Beautiful way to finish. I'm glad about that. I didn't want to be smashing it all the way to the top. I gotta say, it's one of the most stunning climbs I've done. I had no idea just how beautiful it was. I've seen it in the Vuelta, you know, in the cloud, shrouded in mist, and the guy suffering, but today, best place in the world. A love that never drives. What a climb. Lived up to all expectations and more. We're at the summit. I got the summit just there on this plateau. Spectacular views. Just the barren landscape. Sends a shiver down my spine. Actually in the legs now, so got that one forevermore. I'm uh, glad you joined me today as well. Hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. I'm gonna take a nice careful descent until the next time, ride safe, peace out. Thanks for checking in on the Angaroo today. This video was self-filmed and funded. If you enjoyed it, hit me up with a thumbs up, share the vid, subscribe to the channel, or throw me a few coppers to keep the rubber on the road by clicking the thanks button below. That's a wrap.